In today's video, we'll be sharing the story of a lost camera, luck, fate, and a tale full of shocking turns. So make sure to stay till the end. This lost camera was found by diver Sebastian Jones, who developed the film. Originally from California, he grew up there. He spent a lot of time working on the docks growing up. He spent a lot of time around the waters his city had to offer. On regular days, Sebastian would be stuck after school, waiting for his dad to finish work so that he could go home. Therefore, he decided to ask his dad if he could take diving lessons at a nearby beach for this reason. And on one Sunday, in the early morning hours, Sebastian was ready for a dive. In order to get to a nearby diving spot, he took a boat from his workplace and used it to get there. As soon as he had changed into his gear, he took a few deep breaths before jumping into the ocean. Even though he'd been diving for years, he was still disoriented when he stepped into the water. In a few seconds, he realized what was going on and started diving deeper, but he had no idea what he was about to find. He swam downward for a while before his eyes landed on something unbelievable. He swam downward, through the murky and dark water. He could see the outline of a boat, but this boat was on the ocean floor. Although Sebastian wasn't hunting for treasure, he dived for its recreational value, but he couldn't help himself as he got closer to it. He wanted to take a closer look. But soon, he would uncover more than he had expected. The boat looked like one you would take out every weekend to do some fishing with your friends. Sebastian frowned. He found it strange that the boat looked completely intact. It was like it had sunk without a reason, but that was far from the truth. He noticed something shiny in the dark as he looked down at the wreck. Slowly, he reached out and grabbed the strange object. Once he examined it closely, he could tell what it was. It was a camera, but he didn't know that this camera would uncover the mystery. The boat didn't seem to have anything worth finding after scanning it. He had a sick feeling in the pit of his stomach as he decided not to linger any longer. He decided it was time to head back to shore. When he got back to the surface, his friend helped him climb on board. As they made their way to the shore, all that Sebastian could think about was the camera that he had found. He left it in his bag and didn't mention it to his friend. He didn't mention it because he didn't want the item to cause any more trouble. Once he got back home, he removed the camera from his bag to dry it off. As any other human would, he was curious to learn more about it. He wondered if he would find anything interesting inside. After taking a shower, he retrieved the camera to investigate it more. Sebastian was shocked by the miniature ecosystem that was living inside the old camera. But when he opened the camera to reveal its insides, his stomach twisted. He was surprised. An SD card was simply ejected from the chamber when the compartment was open. He knew that this would give him the answers he needed to find out what happened to the ship and who was on it. He felt the lump in his throat as he picked up the SD card. He cleaned the earbud with an earbud and rubbed alcohol, then plugged it into his computer and held his breath. And to his surprise, it worked. Sebastian's mouth was getting dry from the anticipation as the images started loading one by one. He was still a bit shocked that the camera's SD card even worked. However, after seeing the images, he wished it hadn't happened. Although Sebastian was reluctant to scroll through someone's personal and secret memories, he continued to look at the photos one by one, unable to take his eyes away from the photos. It was clear that the photos showed him what he had suspected. He could see the eyes of the man in the picture staring right back at him. It had to be the captain of the ship before it sank to the ocean floor. But he had no idea that he was about to unlock a shocking story. Now that he had seen the man in the photo, he knew that it was clear what he had to do. He had now decided to find out who he was and where he was if he was even still alive. He had to meet him and return the photo reel from his camera. But he had to start somewhere. He thought about what the most effective method of getting information would be. He thought it would be easy, but it turns out it is a lot more difficult than he initially anticipated. Sebastian took to social media. He knew that his odds would be better if he wasn't the only one trying to find the man. He decided to post a photo on Facebook and ask for any information anyone could give for him. After that, it was just a waiting game. After two weeks, he started feeling that he might never actually find out who the original owner was or what happened to his boat. This could result in it ending up at the bottom of the ocean. But then he had a breakthrough. A few weeks later, someone finally recognized the man in the photo. 
He notified Sebastian and gave him the details he desperately wanted. Now that he knew more, he could do something about it. The man told him more than he could have ever hoped for. They told him the man's name, what state he lived in, and something that blew the case wide open. The man he was looking for was Jimmy Baker. He was an artist and photographer from Vancouver. He had lost his boat in 2012 when it sank into the ocean. Once the man was identified, the Navy officer tracked down his phone number in an attempt to get further information. Sebastian was thrilled that their search had finally yielded some results. But this was not the end of the story. One morning, Sebastian got the phone call that finally put an end to the mystery. The Navy officer was on the other end. He said when he got off the phone with the man, he and his wife laughed a great deal and mentioned how lucky he was. But it was only when he heard the man's harrowing tale that he truly understood. Not wanting to miss any more time, Sebastian called the number the Navy officer had given him and heard a gruff voice answer. Hello? Who is this? He smiled and simply said, Sir, I've been trying to find you for a long while now, and it's because I found your boat and your camera. After this call from Sebastian, the men decided to meet at the local bar. Sebastian could tell that the man was really happy after being reunited with his camera and all of his photos. Sebastian excitedly asked for a recount of what happened that day at sea. The man looked at him and said, For a story like that, we need a drink. And they both ordered a draught of beer each. It turns out Jimmy really was a lucky man. The story that we were all looking for goes like this. It was 2012. Jimmy was making the long sailing trip to his summer home in British Columbia. He said that the trip started without a hitch until he ran into some foul weather. With the seas growing turbulent, his boat was thrown against some rocks. Following the wreck, he lost his camera in the wreck. Sebastian listened intently as he recounted what had happened and couldn't believe his ears. When Jimmy's boat crashed into the rocks, they smashed his hull apart. Jimmy found himself stranded in the freezing cold water as the cabin filled up with water. As the water rose in the cabin, Jimmy barely had a time to smash a window and struggle off the sinking boat before it had disappeared under the waves. Jimmy was thankful that he had made it out alive, but he had lost hundreds of personal possessions in the wreck. Over the years, and although it hurt him deeply, he had grown to accept what had happened. He was most heartbroken about his camera, as other possessions could be replaced. But after he got a call from the Navy officer informing him that his camera had been found, he couldn't believe how lucky he was for this to even happen. And this is how this extremely lucky tale of a man losing and getting his camera back. What do you guys think about this beautiful lost and found tale? Let us know in the comments below. Anyway, this brings us to the end of today's video. We hope you liked the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and for more such knowledgeable videos, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to press that bell icon to never miss an update from us. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.